This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, I'm Geraldine, and I'm a SNAP educator with the SNAP education program working at City Harvest. Today, we will be making three delicious recipes using beets. Eating a diet rich in a variety of fruits and vegetables is part of maintaining an overall healthy diet. Today's recipes will hopefully encourage you to vary your vegetables and find delicious ways to make half of your plates fruits and vegetables. By the end of this lesson, you will understand the health benefits of incorporating vegetables like beets and fruits like green apples into your diets and learn how to prepare these easy, budget-friendly and delicious recipes. We can use the MyPlate diagram to help us identify healthy food items and recipes that fall into the five food groups, fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins, and dairy. The two main ingredients of today's recipes are green apples and beets. These fall into the fruit and vegetable categories of MyPlate. Fruits and vegetables are important sources of many nutrients. However, different color fruits and veggies provide different nutrients that our bodies need. So a healthy eating pattern means consuming a variety of colorful fruits and veggies. So let's get started. Beets are a great source of vitamin A, fiber, folate, potassium, and magnesium. A half a cup of cooked beets contains 4% of the daily recommended value of iron. This veggie is versatile and can be used for all sorts of dishes. Do you know that every part of beet is edible, even the greens? This one doesn't have greens, but as you can see, the stems where the greens would have been attached are still here. So let's start by roasting some beets that we will use in our second and third recipes. We're now going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut the top and the bottom of our beets that have been previously pre-washed and scrubbed until the water ran clean. We're now going to wrap our beets in aluminum foil. We're going to drizzle them with a little bit of avocado or olive oil, whatever you have at home. I usually don't recommend buying things if you already have a similar item at home. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap it tightly. Be careful while handling beets because they could definitely stain. You could always use a pair of gloves to prevent staining. We're going to roast these for an hour or until a knife inserted goes through without resistance. Now that our beets are ready, we're going to go ahead and pull them out of the oven. Now let's get started with our first recipe. We will be using the following ingredients beets, carrots, medium green apple, scallions, lemon juice, salt and pepper. We're now going to peel our beets. Remember the beets that were in the oven? We let them cool and now we're ready to peel them. So they're very easy once they're cooked to just peel with your hands. We're going to remove the skin. We're now going to chop the beets for our salad. These are really nice and tender, and usually beets are very sweet once they have cooked. So we're gonna go ahead and dice them carefully. For recipes that call for beets, you could always use canned beets. Just make sure you can rinse them so that you can take away about 40% of the sodium content or try to get a low sodium version. We're now going to dice our green apple. So we're going to go ahead and cut it in half. Make sure that there is a flat surface on our board and we are going to start slicing so we can then start dicing. Think about buying and picking out fruits when they're in season. They might be less expensive, but they're also going to be at their peak for flavor. Today we're using green apples, which have a tart and sweet taste. 
They're particularly high in antioxidants compared with some other apples and are slow to turn brown, which makes them work great in salads. Keeping the skin on your apple doubles the amount of fiber, which help us stay full longer. This recipe also calls for one medium carrot wash and peel. Carrots are crunchy, tasty, and highly nutritious as they're filled with beta-carotene, fiber, vitamin K1, potassium, and antioxidants. They can be found in a variety of colors, like yellow, white, orange, red, and purple. Today, we're going to grate the carrot and add it to the bowl of diced beets. We're now going to go ahead and we're going to chop our scallions. I usually fold them in half so it's just easier when cutting. We're gonna go ahead and chop them to then add them to our salad. You can always regrow your scallions by placing them in a jar with water and putting it by a windowsill. We're going to go ahead and add the scallions to our salad. And we're going to add some lemon zest and juice. I actually love adding the zest. It makes the flavor of the lemon a lot more powerful. So let's cut this in half. And remove some of the seeds so they don't end up in our salad. And I'll use the juice of about a half a lemon. We're going to add a drizzle of olive oil. Let's season with salt and pepper. I like using black pepper, but you could use any pepper of your choice. And then we're going to quickly toss. This color for salad is loaded with antioxidants and fruits and veggies. Preparing a nutrient-rich salad with a homemade dressing can help us to increase our fruit and veggie intake, lower our sodium and fat intake, and create complete balanced meals. There are many ways that you can combine flavors and healthy recipes into your lifestyle. For our next recipe, we're gonna make a beet hummus. We will be using the following ingredients. One small roasted beet, one can of cooked, mostly drained chickpeas, one large lemon, zested and juice, a pinch of salt, and black pepper, two large cloves of garlic, a quarter cup of olive oil, and two tablespoons of tahini. Tahini is actually sesame paste. This dip is lemony and has a kick of garlic, super creamy and flavorful. So once your beet is cool and peel, we're going to go ahead and quarter it. And using a blender or food processor, we're going to go ahead and blend it. We're now going to add the remaining ingredients except for the olive oil and we're going to blend until smooth. So we're adding the lemon juice, the lemon zest, the garlic, and the sesame seed paste, also known as tahini. We're gonna go ahead and add a pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now, let's blend. As the hummus is mixing, we're now going to drizzle in the olive oil. Once we finish blending, we could taste it and adjust seasonings as needed. If it's too thick, you could always add a little bit of water. This dip is great by itself, but you could actually have it with cut-up vegetables, as a sandwich bread, with chips, and just simply enjoy. Our next recipe is going to be roasted beets with balsamic vinaigrette. For this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and make a dressing. We're gonna use a half a cup of olive oil. We're going to measure a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. We're also going to use a half a teaspoon of mustard and 
a tablespoon of honey. What mustard does when making a dressing is that it acts as a binding ingredient for the dressing. So the oil and the vinegar will come together. So we're going to whisk until everything has come together. We're now going to season with a little bit of salt and fresh pepper. And whisk it again. So I've transferred my dressing onto a jar because the leftover could be stored in the fridge for up to a week. So I'm gonna add a little bit of dressing to my beets and some chopped parsley. And I'm going to quickly toss. And this is ready to be served as a great side dish. So I really enjoy having this salad for lunch. You could have it with a piece of grilled chicken, a piece of roasted chicken, some fish, some steak, any kind of protein that you will like. Or you could actually have it by itself. We're going to go ahead and garnish it with more parsley. And as an option, we could add a little bit of goat or feta cheese. And this is ready to be enjoyed. Finding your healthy eating style and maintaining it for a lifetime is the goal. You can think about pairing the salads with some whole grains and a protein to create a balanced meal. Thank you so much for joining me today as we learn about the five food groups that are the building blocks for a healthy diet and about how to prepare healthy recipes using beets. Let's make every bite count. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how Snap Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snaped.ny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.